Hello friends, this video straight line part 17 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched straight line part 1 to part 16. Let's check one problem. It says two lines passing through point 2 comma 3 intersect each other at an angle of 60 degree. If the slope of one line is 2, find the equation of other line. Let's draw this problem. This is line 1, this is line 2. There are two lines. The angle between the line is 60 degree. This is line L1. This is line L2. For line L1, M1 is equal to 2. And this point is 2, 3. This is point P. What we have to do? We have to find L2. Equation of line L2. To find the equation of line L2, we need either two points in L2 or we need one point and one slope. We know the point that 2, 3 is a point in L2. If we can find the slope of L2, we can find the equation. Now, since we know the angle between these two lines and we know slope of this line L1, we can find the slope of line L2. How? We know this formula that tan theta, that is angle between the, any two points, is mod of angle between any two line is mod of m1 minus m2 by 1 plus m m2. This is the equation we have, and this value is tan 60, and this is nothing but 2, 3. Correct? Or we can say that mod of m1 is nothing but minus m2 by 1 plus 2m2 is equal to root 3. If you remove the mod, that means this is either positive or negative. If you remove the mod, so we have two cases actually here. So case 1 is 2 minus m2 by 1 plus 2m2 is equal to root 3. And we have case 2 here where we say 2 minus m2 by 1 plus 2 by m2 is equal to minus root 3. Please note what we have done here. We have removed the mod. So we have got two cases. One is in first case the RF is positive. In second case the RF is negative. So we have got two cases. One case it is positive. The other case it is negative. So we will solve both this equation. So in first case we get 2 minus m2 is equal to root 3 plus 2 root 3 m2 or we get m2 is equal to 2 minus root 3 by 1 plus 2 root 3. This is first case. Here what we get 2 minus m2 is equal to minus root 3 minus 2 root 3 m2 or we get m2 is equal to 2 plus root 3 by 1 minus 2 root 3. So we have got two values of m2. This is 2 minus root 3 by 1 plus 2 root 3 or 2 plus root 3 by 1 minus 2 root 3. Now we have got two values of m2. So we get two values of the equation of line at 2. So there can be two possible combinations. I can show you how also. If L1 is fixed, 60 degree can be this side or 60 degree can be this side also. So we can get two values actually. Like this can also be a line. Sorry. This can also be a line. So this can be L2 and this can be L2 dash. So there can be two equation of line. Correct? So here also we are getting two values. Now we have two values of slopes and we have 1.2 comma 3. So we'll find the equation. Of the line. Now here case 1 will say 2 comma 3. P is 2 by 3 and M is 2 minus root 3 by 1 plus 2 root 3. Now for this the equation is y minus y naught is equal to m into x minus x naught. So this becomes y minus 3 is equal to 2 minus root 3 
by 1 plus 2 root 3 into x minus 2. This we can write in this fashion. This we can say y minus 3 into 1 plus 2 root 3 is equal to x minus 2 into 2 minus root 3. We can solve this equation also, we can keep like this also. It's all our wish. So let's solve. We'll get this as 2 minus root 3x. This is the x form minus 1 plus 2 root 3y. This is the y form plus x. This is x we are taking. This will come this side, will come minus plus. This becomes minus 2 into 2 minus root 3. Correct. Again plus 3. This minus 3 will become plus. Plus 3 into 1 plus 2. This is the value. So we get. 2 minus root 3 x minus 1 plus 2 root 3 y plus, I will find out the value of this. This will turn out to be minus 4 plus 2 root 3 plus 3 plus 6 root 3. So what you get is 8 root 3. I will find this again. 2 minus root 3 x minus 1 plus 2 root 3 y plus plus 6 plus 2 8 root 3 minus this is the answer this is the equation of line similarly in case 2 here we have p is equal to 2 comma 3 and m in this case was 2 plus root 3 by 1 minus 2 root 3. Here also we can use the same equation that is y minus y naught is equal to m into x minus x naught. So this becomes or y minus 3 is equal to 2 plus 3 by 1 minus 2 root 3 into x minus 2. Or we can write this equation as y minus 3 into 1 minus 2 root 3 is equal to x minus 2 into 2 plus root 3. This is root 3 here. And if you solve this, we will get the answer. So that is the So we have found the equation of both the line. So we have formed the equation. Motion says if p is the length of perpendicular from origin to the line whose intercepts on axis are a and b, we have to show that 1 plus 1 by b square plus 1 is equal to 1 by b square plus 1 by a square. So this is the x, y axis we have. This is x, this is y. And we are told that p is the length of perpendicular from origin to the line whose intercepts on x and y are a and b. That is x intercept is a and y intercept is b. And P is the length of origin. If you take this point P, if you draw a perpendicular here, this length is P. Now we have to prove this. So let this line be length L. So equation of line L, this for this line L, the equation will be x by A plus y by B is equal to 1. Because we know both x and y intercepts, so we can write this equation as x by A plus y by B is equal to 1. Now to draw, to find the length of perpendicular, we have to first find the equation in ax plus ax plus by plus c is equal to zero form, that is general form. So we can convert this into general form, we can say that xb plus ya minus ab is equal to zero. This is the equation in, this is the equation in ax plus by plus c is equal to zero form. Now from 0, 0, this is 0, 0. From 0, 0, we want to find a distance p. So p is nothing but mod of ax1, a is equal to here b into 0. 
plus small b sorry then b b is here a into 0 plus c c is minus a b by root of a square plus b square root a is here b and b is here because this b if you compare this a b square by a square mod of this this is nothing but a b by root of a square plus b square this is equal to b we will square this equation so what we get a square b square by a square plus b square is equal to p square now we have to prove 1 by p square is equal to 1 by b square plus 1 by a square so we will put 1 by p square in LHS so 1 by p square is nothing but a square plus b square by a square b square this is nothing but a square by a square b square plus b square by a square b square and this is nothing but 1 by b square plus 1 by and that is our answer. So we have proved this. What we have done? We knew that x and y intersect for this line is a and b. So we form the equation of this line. And then from 0, 0, we have to find the distance. And that is equal to p. We found the distance that came out to be a b by root a square plus b square. That is equal to p. We square it and we found that this is what we have to prove. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to Watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.